In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Namecheap custom domain to Cloudflare pages. This is going to be a fully step-by-step -step guide that you can watch all the way until the end. You can then copy and at the end of it, you should have your domain connected. I'm going to explain this all in clear English with no technical jargon and I'm going to try my best to walk you through here step by step showing you everything you need to do. So first go to Cloudflare, go to their homepage or their account dashboard, scroll down, go to compute workers, go to workers and pages and you will probably have a website or an app already deployed. If you go ahead and click on visit, you are going to need this open. We're going to need this URL here. So as you can see, I've just got a very simple to-do list so we can just interact with this and it is just a simple to-do list that I created for this video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect a custom domain to this that we've got registered on Namecheap. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first, once you're on Cloudflare, once you've gone to workers and pages, compute workers, workers and pages, click on your website then go to custom domains and by the way there is a couple of different ways that you can do this a couple of steps that you can do in different orders but follow what I do and it will get set up and it will be fully working as long as you follow what I do so we're on the custom domains page here from our website that we've got deployed right so we'll click set up a custom domain we can then go ahead and find the domain so on my name cheap I'm gonna go to dashboard and we're just going to go ahead and find this domain that we're going to connect, which in my case is online how to guide dot click. This is fine. This is going to be an example. So we'll paste this in. We'll click continue. And it's then going to tell us to get started with Cloudflare DNS. Now, what we essentially need to do is add two DNS records. If we click begin DNS transfer, it will open up a new window and a new dashboard. Now what Cloudflare is going to do, it's going to scan for DNS records. What we're going to do, we're going to paste in our domain again, and I'm going to click manually enter DNS records. If you click quick scan, it will try and scan for the records, but because they're not at there anyway, you're going to have to add them manually anyway. So click manually enter DNS records, click continue, and just follow along and do exactly as I do, and you should have no problems. We'll click the free plan. You can choose whatever plan you need. Then it will take us into this window in a second and it will show us all of the records on the domain. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like on the manual entry. You'll see you should have some records similar to this. We're going to add two CNAME records. So let's go and do that now together. So what we need to do, the first record, we need to go add record. We need to change it to a CNAME record. Then for the name, we're going to type www, and then that's going to send your www.yourdomain.click in my case, but yours will probably be .com. And you want to enter in the target the URL of the website you're trying to connect. So I'm just going to copy this. We're then going to paste it in the target, and I'm just going to remove any slashes or anything we don't need. So I'm just going to keep the actual URL, which is todovideo.pages.dev, as it's listed here. Now, Forgive me if I don't explain stuff technically correct, but just follow what I do and it will work, trust me. So click save. This will then add this CNAME record to the DNS records and we need to add one more. Now, if this gives you an error, there is a conflicting record which you need to delete. So if you already have a CNAME www record and it's going to a different place other than the place you want it to go to, delete it. If you have a CNAME record and it's going to your domain, delete it. Same with an A record. You might have an A record which is going to your domain which you need to delete. This is only if you get a conflicting error. So we've added record number one which is this one. Now we'll add another record. We'll go add record, type, CNAME, at, and this is going to send just the root domain to our page where we want it to go, which in our case again is this URL here of our website. Then click save and it should add this no problem. So now we've got two CNAME records, we've got the www and we've got the root domain. Perfect. Now you're probably going to notice up here it says invalid name servers. So once we've added these DNS records, we now need to go overview and we're still in this domain kind of window 
and we need to add the name servers. Now mine says active here. I have done this before, but what you're going to see is you're going to see some name servers, which you need to go ahead and copy and add to your domain. So to do that, you will go to your domain, you'd go manage, and then here on domain, you need to change it to custom DNS and add the name servers here. So name server one and name server two. Now for me, mine is saying active because I created this tutorial before, but accidentally wasn't recording. So I deleted them, but it's still actually saying that they're active. But if I go to DNS records, I will be able to see the name servers. So here they are. You will find them just on the basic overview window. It will say connect the name servers. You just need to copy them. I'm going to copy them from here because they are going to be the same. But you need to copy them from just the overview of your domain. It will show them. You will see them. Trust me. So I'm going to copy this one. You then go to the back end of your domain. And here in the back end, you'll be on Namecheap Basic DNS. Change it to Custom DNS. Paste in name server number one into number one. And then here, name server number two into number two. Then click the green tick and it should then be good to go in Namecheap. So there we go. That has been updated. Now it can take 48 hours. That's why mine was still saying active, even though they're not actually active. It's because you need to wait for everything to propagate. In my experience, though, it does take about 20 minutes to verify and activate your name servers. So if this says name servers not supported or not added, even if you've added them, just be patient and wait a second. Now, once this becomes active, once you've added them, you've got your two CNAME records added here. One, two. You've connected your name servers in the back end. All you need to do now is go back to Cloudflare dashboard. Then I will go compute workers, workers and pages, then click on your project, go to custom domains, set up a custom domain. And what I would do here is I would copy your domain and then paste it in. Then click continue. It's then going to say that Cloudflare will update this DNS to activate it. It's basically going to add the same records that we already added manually, CNAME, at, and it's going to go to the content you want it to go to, which is here. Just click activate domain. So there we go. We've got this one being added. So this is our root domain. Then we'll go again, set up custom domain. We'll type www. Then we'll paste in our domain again. We'll click continue. And again, it's going to say the same thing. We'll click activate domain. And there you go. We've now got our root domain and www. Our domain being added. Now this is going to be verifying. So just give it a few minutes here to verify. Now again, it can take up to 48 hours, but I'm going to refresh and see if I can get it to update on camera on video, because this is all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else other than add the DNS records, connect the name servers in the back end of your domain, and then add the two custom domains. Now we should be good to go. Now, this is probably now not going to work for me, and it's probably going to take 48 hours. But hopefully we can get this to go green on camera. So I'll be back once it goes green and it's verified. OK, so it's been five minutes. All I've done was wait. I've not done anything else. So now let's go ahead and test them to see if they work. So we'll first try the www. So we'll go incognito window. We'll paste it in. As you can see, that's working. And we will also try just the domain without www. Just the root domain. As you can see, that's working as well. So that is how you can connect it. Yes, it is a bit long winded and a kind of complicated, but just do what I've done step by step and it will work for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.